Israeli tank fire has killed at least four Palestinian civilians and injured more than 30 others in Gaza, mostly teenagers. Officials claim the attack was a response to militants blowing up an Israeli border patrol vehicle. Now, for more on this, let's now cross to our correspondent, Paula Slier. Well, uh, Paula, Israel's response has been swift and deadly. So are they hitting the targets they claim to be seeking? Well, as you say, there has been this exchange of fire between Palestinians and Israeli soldiers along the Israel-Gaza border. And the latest figures we have are that at least four Palestinian civilians have been killed and some 25 wounded. In addition to this, a body was discovered this morning, Sunday, of a Gaza man who was killed in an overnight Israeli airstrike. And it's not immediately clear whether or not he was a civilian or a militant. Now, there are regular flare-ups between the Israeli army and Palestinian militants. But unfortunately, Israel often seems to kill civilians, although its intended target, it says, is the militants. There has been a barrage of rockets fired into southern Israel this morning. There are injuries, but as we understand it, nothing serious at this stage. Now, Palestinian militants are warning that they're going to take revenge for these deaths. And at the same time, Israel is warning its residents in its southern communities to, who live near the Gaza border to stay within 15 seconds of the blast shelter. So we are anticipating that there will be more violence today, Sunday. This is one of the highest casualty counts in Gaza in a single incident in recent months. And it comes at a time of renewed tension along the Israel-Gaza border. Only some two weeks ago, Egyptian mediation managed to, to bring down and calm an earlier flare-up. All right, Paul, thanks All right. very much for this update.